out of here. Let's see, this joint looks pretty good. Nice and tight. I let that go a full 24 hours. Yeah, but we want to make sure we don't have that. What would that piece look like? Okay, it would be solid. Well, that's not it. Nope. Covers this area. We ser I searched for this. And I don't have that. But boy, look at that. Wow. We'll set it in. And then what we'll do is we'll tweak it tighter. We'll set one side tight. Leave the other side a little more gappy. And then we'll move that together as we work on it. That's a nice, that's a good piece to find right now. this. Oh boy, look at that. Yikes. That's going to take some serious softening. Toothbrush that I'm going to use on that edge, but the first thing you've got to do with any new tool you bring in here, you got to test it against the acetone and make sure that the acetone is not going to melt the tool. We were in a cave in the Yucatan one time collecting this weird arachnid and we used acetone as an insect killer, or an, in this case an arachnid killer. And the container we had to put the arachnid in after we detached it melted <laughs> from the acetone. This looks all right. Okay, that looks fine. No melting. There's our piece. Let's verify. That's him. There it is. Okay. Here we go. That's going to... Oh, look at that. That's a lot better. That's perfect. All right. I'm pretty happy with that. Now let's look at this. Right now, this thing's really, that joint is really fragile, even though it's a good, strong bond. I've actually used, like, little wooden splints and different things to marry up sections if you need to. All right, let's try this. Oh, I like that one. And see how big that gap is there? See how that's off right there? But that'll draw in. So we're going to marry this joint, this top joint, perfectly. Let me figure out how I'm going to do my balancing act here. This needs to be brought down right there. That's a little high. It needs to be brought down. Now, I can do that because I can loosen the glue of the acetone. And the reason it needs to be brought down is because this, you see, this isn't matching here. I want to land this piece perfectly matched here and tight. That's first. Then, and I'll leave this just kind of hang. I'm going to put a little wedge in there or something just to keep it up. A little acetone or a little uh, glue edge. And then, once this is super nice and tight and strong, I'll weaken that joint up there and then draw that down. It's kind of a trick. This is Later on, here we go. So the trick is to get that pattern just right. Perfect. Oh, that's really good. Sometimes you just have to say, I'm going to leave it alone. 